Hey y'all, good morning. This is Victoria B. Back with another emergency blackout message. Okay, this message is for a man, a male masculine, specifically. Um, masculine, whoever I'm talking to. You, I doubt you will know about this. Um, it's very detailed. Um, I'm channeling an ex-girlfriend of yours has been doing spell work on you ever since you broke up with her. It could have been years ago, maybe back in 2012, something like that. Um, this person I'm channeling is a Libra sun sign. This Libra put a hex type of spell on you using image candles. Okay, this is so that any other woman that you get involved with, your relationship with them would not last very long. This woman is very smart. She knows your weaknesses. She knows about your violent temper, and you have a very big ego. So this, with this spell, she did the intentions that she set is whenever you meet a new woman... And you guys get into a relationship. That's when the spell begins to work. She did some kind of spell. Hex. and More like a hex. That you would be very. You would. Anytime you got with a new woman. You would always be on the defense. You would always be easily angered and violent to them. Okay. Abusive. Violent. Or whichever one. However you want to say that. And there would be constant fighting and arguing and it would be so bad that the woman would be scared and end up leaving you every woman that's ever come into your life since you broke up with this libra she did a very strong spell any relationship you get in is going to be conflicted you need to go somewhere and get this spell taken off of you masculine um i'm getting the name tina tina or tamika I'm more like Tina. I'm really zeroing in on somebody named Tina that's a Libra or a Tamika. Um, one of these women could have a lot of tattoos on their body. Uh, one in particular has a tattoo of a of angel wings. Angel wings. Of a baby that she had, something like that. And she's an older woman. Like, she's older than you, masculine. Some older woman that you dated. Okay. And she put a very strong hex on you. Okay. Let me go a little bit further. I tried to get as many details as I could. Hold on just a minute. Okay, sorry about the pause. I pulled some cards on this too. Pulled some oracle cards, some tarot cards, and some magic cards. Okay, we got keep it on the low, low key secret, hidden information. So you don't know about it. No one knows about it. She hasn't told anyone. And after that, I got the high priestess and the moon. So, this person, this Libra, is very, extremely intuitive. Okay? That's one scenario. And your energy, masculine, you are the golden child. The chosen one, the privileged, the superhero, the leader. This woman did not want to let you go. Okay? You're some kind of privileged person. Okay? You're the chosen one. You're spiritual. And the Eight of Cups showed up. This is where, this is the, you walking away from this woman. I don't know what happened. Okay, you guys broke up. Uh, this woman found some receipts where you were seeing other women. Okay, so that's I guess that's why that relationship ended. Okay, what she has attempted, this person is also, this Libra is a karmic lover. 
karmic lover, lower negative energy, mental, physical, verbal abuse, toxic, unhealthy connection. You guys could have argued a lot. She could have been just maybe manipulative and verbally abusive to you or you or, or vice versa, but she's a karmic. Okay. She's not your soulmate. We have masculine energy. Logical, dominating, analytical, focused. I love the familiar. Okay. So, and then we have root chakra and throat chakra. So, also, she has um, set the intentions of attacking your masculine energy. Okay. To where you will not be logical or analytical. You will be scattered. Okay. You, for you to lose that. So, you will always be in conflict. This person has also attacked your root chakra. Your root chakra is your foundation, roots, home, survival, security. I am grounded and stable. She has fixed it to where you will never be stable with anyone. Throat chakra, self-expression, inner voice, vocal, speaking one's truth. She's got your, she blocked your root chakra and attacked your throat chakra where you cannot communicate effectively and that does damage things in a relationship, okay? Let's see, what else do we have here? Um, the Ten of Wands. She wants you to be burdened and leave, the, leave every relationship. We've got the Nine of Swords. This has a person in, sitting on a bed with a very, having nightmares, having anxiety. Um, you might have something going on to where you're, you have nightmares. Maybe you wake up and you, you say things that don't make sense or you, you, you fly into a rage or something like that. Some kind of night terrors. She knows about this. And we got death. Okay. The death card in this case would mean she wants all of your she wants all of your relationships to be to end to be dead and then we got the king of swords this is the golden child that i was talking about this is your energy masculine the king of swords is the golden child the chosen one the privileged the superhero the re, the the leader excuse me y'all so you're the chosen one and they, but she's attacked your masculine logical energy to where you're not logical, your foundation, your root chakra, and your throat chakra where you cannot communicate effectively. Um, it shows the Ten of Cups. This is when you guys used to be together. King of Swords, Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Swords in reverse. She was upright. But then when you walked away, she turned into the Queen of Swords in reverse. She was pissed off. The Queen of Swords in reverse is a very bitter person. So she resorted to spell work. She didn't beg for you to come back. She just decided she was just going to fuck you up real good. Then we have the magician here and the world. So she did some kind of, it shows a magician on it, doing some very dark magic. He is doing some, looks like some alchemy candle magic and this is her intentions for ev for every the world card came up for every cycle to end with every woman you ever get involved with okay you are very powerful king of swords golden child but this queen of swords is very intelligent they've done some serious and they could also have done some type of moon magic working with the phases of the moon something like that also, I told you about the image candles, okay? Image candles is a hex, but there's other things you have to do with it. It could be moon magic, working with the phases of the moon. There's certain phases of the moon when you do magic, okay? Most dark negative magic is done during a full moon, and it shows a full moon on this card, so that's probably when she did her rituals. Um... Hold on just a minute. Yes, yeah, she sacrificed you. And this spell was cast to, to last for life. 
It's very strong. I think she did it herself. Um, this card called, it's called Peer into the Abyss. It says, oh, don't be so dramatic. When your eyes bleed and your brain leaks out your ears, then we'll talk about lost sanity. So she might want you to go insane. Eventually you might, this could cause you to go insane. It's really some serious shit. It's strong. This person's smart. This queen of swords is pissed. Blood glutton. Some savor the hunt. I savor the kill. So she's looking to take you down, all your relationships. And then we've got uh, the plummet. It's a flying creature. An arrow from an arrow from Nilia's bow never fails to find its mark. Okay, to me, this is telling me she did this magic with precision. The Queen of Swords. Okay. So Tina or Tamika could be the names. That's the two names I channeled. It doesn't have to be that, but that's the names I channeled. But masculine, you're meant to be powerful. Okay? The king of swords. They've attacked your logic, reasoning, your root chakra, which is your survival, and your throat chakra. Okay, this does not... And this person is a karmic. A karmic... A past life karmic. Or a karmic now. They were, they're a karmic lover. Okay? So... If this is you, this sounds like your situation. Um, I would suggest this is going to take some a professional person. There are people that know how to remove these hexes. Okay, this has been going on for years. Okay, I know you don't know about this, or maybe you do. Okay, it's a Libra woman. They're older than you, and it's either a person named Tina. Or Tamika. Or it could be another name. You, maybe you already know about this. Um, you need to have this removed. Because you may have been in a bunch of relationships. And none of them ever work out. Because of what this woman has done. This spell work was done with precision. And I'm seeing her do it herself. So she studied extensively. Okay. If you look on her. Look on their, if you know who it is, look on their Facebook page or Instagram. And with the high priestess, they tend to not, she's a high priestess. They tend to not say anything. She's keeping the spell work on the low. She's never told anyone. So she's not going to post a whole lot of things to where you could tell that she does spell work. Um, if you see anything on her page, pages that has anything to do with spell work at all, I mean, like uh, crystals, saging. Um, she might say something like, don't underestimate my power. Something like that, okay? Look for any sign. And that's your person that did it. And you need to go to a professional person that can remove this hex. Because it's been on here. It's been on there for a, a long time. Actually, I think around, I'm getting, I'm seeing 10s. 2010. Okay. And you could have tried to have a baby with this person. And this person could have had a miscarriage. That might be what the tattoo is about. Okay, this is very detailed. So just take which messages resonate. Or maybe none of it will resonate. I hope it doesn't. But this is for a, this is a very personal, specific message for a man out there. Masculine energy. Because you're not meant to be, you don't need that. You, you want to have a, you want to have good relationships. You don't want, this has stayed on you for a long time. Okay. That's why none of your relationships has ever worked. Because of this Queen of Swords in reverse, this Libra. All right. Anyway, I hope this helps someone. I will see you in my next video. Let me know in the comments. And if this is you, really go take care of this problem. Go to somebody that can remove a hex. It was a hex used with image candles. That any other woman comes into your life, you will not be with them very long because of what she did. 
And that's not right. That's terrible. That's going that's that's going way beyond going against someone's free will. That's just pure pure evil. Okay? Go get help. Thank you, Masculine, for listening. And I hope this helps someone. It may not help anyone. It's just might only help one person. If I can help one person, I've done my job. Anyway, guys, God bless you guys. And God bless you, Masculine. And let me know in the comments um, if you need help. Okay? And I appreciate you listening to this. It's a pretty long uh, blackout message. I am going to back. I am coming back onto the camera. Um, I haven't been feeling good for the past few days. I had to take a little break. So I'm kind of just sitting here in my pajamas doing blackout messages. But I am going to back. I will go back to reading the zodiac signs. Okay? You guys just be patient with me. Hang with your girl. Subscribe to my channel. Okay? I would appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed and I will see you in my next video, God bless you.